this is Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch Dengar. And wow, is this the Dengar that we've been waiting for to complete our Bounty Hunter line in the Star Wars Black Series. Um, I know for a fact that Dengar here is the one Bounty Hunter other than Boba Fett that everybody wanted to have in their collection. And finally, towards the end of 2018, we finally have Dengar. What an awesome looking figure. I managed to pick this guy up um, from Amazon, Amazon Canada. have not seen him at retail at all and I don't expect to see this guy at retail because he is definitely one of the more sought after figures ever in the line. And we'll go over why you should definitely pick up everyone's favorite bounty hunter Dengar in just a second but as always let's check out the box standard black series box here really really interesting artwork here of Dengar in wearing his turban and all his scars and everything you know I always thought um, you know it was interesting there was so much love behind all these bounty hunters from the Empire Strikes Back they really only got like 15 seconds of screen time each but um, you know, Dengar was definitely one of those characters that stood out to me. So, happy he got turned into an action figure in the Black Series 6-inch line. He is number 74. And if you want to read a little bit more about Dengar, here you go. Pause the, pause the video right here to read it. He is basically a ruthless and effective bounty hunter that prides himself on blah, 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 blah. But anyways, we're not here to check out the box. We're here to check out Dengar. And oh my god. Guys, this could be the Black Series figure of 2018, in my opinion. Um, just look at the detail on this guy. I mean, oh my goodness. You know, for a bulkier looking character, I think Hasbro really hit it, hit it 100%, you know? Everything about this figure is absolutely perfect. I love it. What I love the most about it, however, is of course the photoreal technology that you see. Um, let's just zoom in here onto his little face, his beautiful face. The photoreal technology you see right here on Dengar. Lots of detail here, as you can see on the turban that he's wearing. Um, you know, like definitely, I think um, the photo real tech in 2018 was one of my favorite additions into the line, but it really shows how effective it is here when you just look at the amount of detailing here on the scars on his face and everything, and just the definition that you see here on his little turban. I think this is definitely Dengar at its finest. And you can see also a lot of, well, not a lot, but it, some of interesting details here, some weathering on his armor as well down here and all throughout his body. A lot of detail as well here on his little backpack accessories and it's great. I love it. Highly posable. Now let's take a look at his accessories. He does of course comes with his giant uh, looking rifle that we see in the Empire Strikes Back. Haven't done a reference check yet, not sure if this is entirely film accurate, but I have a feeling that it does look like the long rifle that he uses, that, that he, that, you know, that we see in The Empire Strikes Back. So that's awesome. He does come with a miniature blaster as well that fits pretty well into his holster. Let's take it out. Again, not a lot of detail here on his little blaster. It might be be just a remold or something or, or a repack of a blaster that we've previously seen maybe I mean, it doesn't look the Han Solo one but I'm definitely sure they didn't spend a lot of time to uh, design a, another blaster for Dengar. He also comes with a pretty interesting um, backpack that you can pin here on his back. There's a little peg hole right here. Um, looking at the backpack I mean, it looks like it's just something that he would carry around. You know, it looks like a camping bag, actually, of some kind, which is 
pretty odd. Um, I don't remember seeing this at all in The Empire Strikes Back, but you know, it could be something that he just carries around for explosives or something. But again, it fits really well around his body. Just put it back in here. You can also pin the straps in into this little peg hole over here as well, so so it doesn't fall off as easily, which is a nice little addition to detail. Now a quick look at the articulation. He is very mobile for a Black Series figure. Nothing that you would be surprised to see uh, for sure, but let's take a quick look. His head fully rotates 360 degrees. It doesn't really go up and down due to the um, sculpt here of his turban, which is fine by me. Ball jointed torso. Ball jointed shoulders, which is awesome. Full range of motion, as you can see here. Hinge elbow joints, which is actually pretty flexible. I think I got a pretty good figure here. Uh, really nice. Full range of motion again. Elbows go as far back. A little bit more than 90 degrees. Swivel wrists. Trigger fingers here as well on the hands. Um, ball jointed hips. Swivel thigh. And double jointed knees that go all the way back as you would expect. And of course, ankles that pivot as well. Here is Dengar fully posed with his rifle and blaster in his holster. Now, he does remind me, surprisingly enough, of another Black Series figure, Tobias Beckett. I think, you know, they're both similar in scale. And I think some of the parts to Dengar are actually recycled from uh, Tobias Beckett. Oops. Such as, the trigger fingers here I think are very similar, but you know, it just reminds me of another bulky looking character, which I think um, is pretty awesome. He would look great on any shelf, by the way. Um, I'm, I am looking forward to picking up the archive line with Boba Fett, Bosk, and IG-88 um, to complete my Black Series Bounty Hunter collection. But again, he just looks great on the shelf. Um, you can pose him in a plethora of different positions, I would say. Um, again, Dengar is a very bulky character, so um, you might have a little bit of trouble, uh, I would say, setting him up. That's the only issue I have with this figure. I had quite a bit of trouble just balancing him out because, you know, he is back heavy with the weight and everything on this backpack, but... You know, it's, it's definitely not a deal breaker. He is arguably, like I said before, um, the Black Series figure of 2018. One of, definitely one of my favorite Black Series figures for sure. And uh, if by any chance you see him available at retail or at Big Bad Toy Store or any online retailer, do pick him up because he will definitely not last. Dengar, Skiff Lando, and Hoth Leo are the three figures in the latest wave that I think are can't miss figures. And um, definitely pick him up. So that was a quick look at Dengar, one of the last new figures from 2018 in the Black Series. What do you think about this bounty hunter? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe for more content to come in 2019. Until the next time, as always, may the toys be with you.